quick video. We have it sometimes. I'd look at it since I haven't looked at it in a while. So I'll kind of do a top down versus bottom up today, a little bit different just because it's not something I trade regularly. And, and depending on how you trade the note, I figured uh, this would be useful to uh, people. So uh, here we go. Uh, trading right now down uh, at the low uh, that we tested overnight here at 3 a.m. So uh, 3 a.m. here on the West Coast. So we were trading down here at 123.38 and uh, we're right there right now, a little bit lower, looks like 37, 36. So you can see on the really one day profile that value double noted above us 123.52 and uh, 123.62. If, now I'm going to go back in time just to give you a, a, a weak look and things start to change a little bit. So here's the last five trading days. One, uh, the point of control moves even higher. Again, this is a bearish profile. We are below it. So if you're not short, not necessarily time to uh, get short, but we're going to we're going to pull back even further and see that we're at a real, real uh, treacherous point on a breakdown side for uh, for the notes here. So uh, that's one week, two weeks again is uh, right here. The composite, this composite is actually fairly bullish if you're above uh, that point of control there at 124-ish, uh, it looks like 123.97. So if we can get back above, I mean, you could see a move up here to 124.48 here on the notes. However, let's pull back again. Let's go back one more uh, time frame. Let's go back uh, about a month. And picture gets a little muddier now. And this is why this is so effective, again, when you're looking at the profile. That 124 area now really just becomes the bottom of value for the last 20 days of trading. And you're really seeing a double noted uh, beast here that I, you know, again, I'd love to be short up here from 124.51, but I'm not, I have no position in the note. But again, we're at this point here uh, that not only were we uh, testing this low from yesterday, but uh, back here in uh, early, the, the first of the year, the first trading day of the year, we were trading at 123.37. So as we continue to stay down here, we could really have a, a quick push down further uh, into uh, you know new lows. There. So this that low was the low here for the year. So this is a real big reference, not only for the profile, but for uh, price only traders. So I, I wanted to point this out. Now, if I pull back uh, a couple more time frames, just to give you like a three month view, you're gonna see even further that the trend is obviously clearly down. It's gonna continue to be put, pressed on and uh, last year's lows come into question. Uh, and those are down here at 122.28. Right where we are, now you can see this whoosh. There is a pocket right here that re re real quickly can move this market right down to 123.19. So again, I'm not interested in buying, and now you really see the big picture. This is basically a secondary node uh, up to 125, 24. That is outside of the big value node over the last three. Uh, this is a this is going back months, so this is going back six months now to July, and this uh, this is a real big macro view, uh, not uh, from a day trader's perspective, but we are playing in this green <clears throat> node here and the turquoise is the value until we get back really above you know 127 i'm not you know that, and nowhere on this chart am i interested in being a long-term buyer so any wiggles that you get are only going to be day moves where if we fail here at 123.44 we're going to go down to uh, again that 123.20 area pretty quickly next couple days and then that that area should hold us a little bit but we're coming into question and this cut comes across cuts across with the bonds uh, also, so this really is, uh, you know, it's matching up very nicely. Matter of fact, I'll just bring in the bonds just so you can see that also the bonds are uh, probably very similar looking on the chart right now, just to give you uh, a comparison. So let's take a look at the bonds. And I didn't click it well enough, so bear with me. 149.04 trades, and you can see this, we're looking at that same macro time frame, and it's almost the identical chart. The reason why I trade the bonds versus the note is the width. Uh, it's, it's a nominal notional uh, arrangement for me. And here we go on uh, TY, I said an alert there. But ZB uh, is really, you can see kind of the same chart here and it already has kind of filled this gap. So uh, the, the note Y should do the same and uh, hope that helps and uh, look forward to uh, 
talking to you talking to you further about the profile, how we use the tool. That's a quick macro rundown on the note and uh, just comparing it to the bonds.